This week, we spoke with James Zemer, the Historic Preservation Projects Manager with Facilities Management. Hi, I'm Alexandra with Cav Daily, and I'm here with James Zemer, and um, he has been assigned to the renovation project for the Rotunda. Um, James, when was the renovation project first started? Uh, well, the, the roof project got started uh, in earnest last fall, um, so we've had pretty uh, wet and snowy, rainy winter that we've uh, worked through. Um, just had our hopefully last snowstorm here at the end of March and heading towards our finish line, which is, of course, graduation. What do you think are the most important aspects of the project? Well, the Rotunda is getting ready to go into a major renovation that's going to take four to five years. Um, but in, in advance of that, we really had to focus on the roof. Uh, the, the existing roof was from 1976 and had a lot of leaks which caused structural problems and problems in the brickwork. So the first step was really to get the building watertight. Um, in addition, this phase of the project, we're going to repair the window surrounds and also repoint a lot of the deteriorated mortar in the drum of the building. So what do you think were some of the most important steps to kind of preserve the originality of the building itself? Well, the building has gone through a series of changes over the years. Of course, there was the fire in 1895, um, and it was restored by Stanford White. Um, then in the 1970s, the university took the building back to its original Jeffersonian floor plan uh, to celebrate the bicentennial. Um, that roof uh, didn't work uh, to its full potential, and so here we are uh, replacing that. Um, so really that's the most essential part of this project. Hi, we're here with Dave and uh, Dave can you tell us a little bit about what you're doing on this level of the rotunda? On this level of the rotunda we're basically doing a 100% repoint. So we cut out the old mortar and then repoint it with new mortar. Okay. Um, and we also are doing cleaning where we're getting rid of the white salt deposits that are on the brick as well as some miscellaneous brick replacement. James, can you tell us where we are right now? Sure, we're actually on top of a scaffold tower that's set up in the dome room uh, and we're at the oculus level, so we're at the very top of the dome and as you can see they're, they're in the process of installing the skylight framing. Uh, we had to use a rubber membrane and this, this uh, wood construction to sort of float uh, a tent above it so that we can maintain weather protection during the installation of the skylight. Hi, I'm here with Neil and Russ and they're working on the renovation project for the Rotunda. Uh, can y'all tell us a little bit about what your company is and what y'all are doing for the project? Yeah, our company's called North American Construction Technologies. We're, we're a worldwide specialty installer uh, for architectural and structural glaze systems and exterior building envelope systems so we specialize in domes, uh, glazed walls, glazed roofs, skylights. Because of the historic sort of nature of this job mm -hmm. we thought as the owners we would come and do this one. Yeah especially Thomas yeah. Jefferson, really important person mm -hmm. so we decided that we should come out here and do it ourselves. I love the, the architecture of this building. I think it's fantastic. 